A trader mixes 26 kgs of rice at rupees 20 per kg with 30 kgs of rice of other variety which is at 36 rupees per kg and sells this mixture at rupees 30 per kg. What is his profit percentage? Well, we have 26 kgs of rice mixed with 30 kgs of rice. So in all we have 30 plus 26 kgs of rice. So we have 56 kg of rice. Now we can calculate the cost price of this 56 kg of rice which is equal to the cost price of 26 kg plus the cost price of the rest of 30 kg which is of other variety. So cost price of 30 kg. Now the cost price of this 26 kg of rice will be equal to we have 26 kgs bought at the rate of 20 per kg. So 20 times 26 is the cost price of this plus the cost price of 30 kgs is equal to we have 30 kgs of rice bought at the rate of 36 per kg. So 30 times 36. This is 520 plus 30 times 36 is 1080 and that is equals to 1600 rupees which is the cost price of 56 kgs. Now profit percentage is asked so for that we will need to calculate the profit and for profit we need the selling price we have the cost price already. So the selling price of 56 kg is equals to this rice is sold at 30 rupees per kg. So we have 56 kg sold at 30 per kg. So 30 times 56 and that is equals to 1680 which is the selling price of 56 kg of rice this mixed rice. So we can calculate the profit. So profit is equal to selling price minus the cost price which is 1680 that is the selling price minus cost price is 1600. So it is equal to 80. 80 rupees is the profit. So profit percentage is equal to the profit which is 80 divided by the cost price which is 1600. So 80 by 1600 times 100. So these two zeros get cancelled out. We have 80 by 16. So 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 2 is 16. So we have 10 by 2 that is equals to 5. So 5% 5 is the profit. Option B is the correct answer. A trader mixes three varieties of ground nuts costing 50 rupees, 20 rupees and 30 rupees per kg in the ratio of 2 is to 4 is to 3 in terms of weight and sells the mixture at 33 rupees per kg. What percentage of profit does he make? So we have three varieties of crown nuts and these are in the ratio of 2 is to 4 is to 3. So I can comfortably say that we have 2 kg of one variety, 4 kg of another variety and 3 kg of the third variety. So in all we have 3 plus 4 plus 2 that is 9 kgs of the ground nuts. Okay. So I can calculate the cost price of this 9 kgs. So cost price of 9 kg is equals to the cost price of 2 kg plus the cost price of 4 kg plus the cost price of 3 kg right and that can be calculated as we have 2 kgs of 50 rupees ground nuts right so 50 times 2 so 2 times 50 plus I have 4 times 20 which is the price per kg of 4 kgs of variety so 4 times 20 plus 3 times we have 30 so this is equals to 100 plus 80 plus 90 and that is equal to 270 rupees the cost price of 9 kgs of this groundnut mixture. Now let us calculate the selling price of 9 kgs. Now we have been given that he sells this mixture at 33 rupees per kg. So selling price of 9 kgs will be equal to 9 times 33 and that is equal to 297. So selling price is 297, cost price is 270. We want percentage profit. So percentage profit is equal to the profit upon the cost price times 100. So this is equal to profit is selling price minus cost price which is 297 minus 270 divided by the cost price which is 270 times 100. So this is again equivalent to we have 297 minus 270 is 27 by 270 times 100. So 
we have the profit percentage as 10 percent. So option C is the correct answer. A dairy man pays 6.40 rupees per liter of milk. He adds water and sells this mixture at 8 rupees per liter, thereby making 37.5 percent profit. The proportion of water to milk received by the customers is. First of all, let us assume that the amount of milk that this dairy man purchases is 100 liters, right? So this man has 100 liters of milk purchased at the rate of 6.40 rupees per liter. So we can have cost price of the milk he purchased is equals to 6.40 times 100 and that is equals to 640 rupees. Okay, the cost price is 640 rupees. Now he adds water. So let's say he adds X amount of water, right? X liters of water added. Now when you add X liters of water, the total amount becomes 100 plus X. So selling price is given to us at 8 rupees. So he sells this milk at the rate of 8 rupees per liter after adding water. So the complete selling price will be equals to selling price will be equals to the rate which is 8 times the total amount of milk and water the mixture of milk and water which is 100 plus x so 8 times 100 plus x so this is equals to 800 plus 8 rupees and we have been given the profit percentage which is 37.5 percent so i can write 37.5 percent is equals to the formula for profit percentage is profit upon the cost price times 100. So the profit is selling price minus cost price. So selling price minus cost price is 800 plus 8x. This should be x minus the cost price is 640 divided by the cost price. So 640 times 100. This is the formula for profit percentage. So this 0 and this 0 get cancelled out. We have 37.5 times 64. So 37.5 times 64 is equals to 8x plus 800 minus 640 is equal to 160. And we have this 10 times 10. Now this can be basically written as we have if we multiply this 10 inside we have 80x plus 1600. Right. So dividing uh, this whole equation by 8 we get divide by 8 on both the sides of equals to so 8 times 8 is 64 8 times 10 is 80 and 8 times 200 is 1600 so we have 37.5 times 8 gives you 300 is equals to 10x plus 200 so therefore x is equals to 300 minus 200 which is 100 divided by 10 so x is equals to 10 so the amount of water added is 10 liters now we have been asked the proportion of water to milk. So water to milk upon milk is equals to water is 10 liters and the milk is 100 liters. So 10 by 100 that is 1 by 10. So this is the proportion. So option A is the correct answer.